previously on Corpse Party Blood Drive. You know, I want you to blindly rushing into dangerous situations like you did yesterday. And please, for the love of God, just go out with me. Come on. Come on. Just do it. I'm awesome. We're good together. You're crazy. I'm awesome. That's just crazy awesome right there. And now back to peeing my pants. Hey! Sneako B, back with some more Corpse Party Blood Drive. We last left off, a Yomi continued to be a fucking idiot and decided she was like, Wow, I haven't had enough of my friends dying and being brutally murdered and being attacked by really disgusting, disturbing, life scarring things. So I'm going to come back here and do some more dumb stuff. And oh, what do you know? The thing that I used to get here is gone and I have no way to get back. I'm stuck here alone. I'm probably going to die. Uh, but hey, that's just another course party thing. And what do you guys phrase it? <laughs> what do you guys in the comments said? Something I thought was just perfect. This just pretty much encompasses the entire, this entire theme of Course Party. Course Party, the the story where everything would be fine if we just didn't do anything. <laughs> if we just did nothing. But nope. Instead we, instead we gotta continue our stupid string of stupid ideas, being fucking idiots. Uh, but anyway, before I, uh, I move on, I wanted to say sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry for the uh, sort of erratic uh, upload schedule I've had lately. I've uh, I've been working part time on the uh, the new Council of Voice uh, Voices episode, um, and I've been really excited about it. Uh, it's sort of getting there. I still got a bit of work to do, but it's, I've been putting a lot of my time and effort into it. Uh, but it's sort of like when I, when I get in really excited about something, I, I end up putting so much effort into it that I forget about the other things I need to do, like you know, of course, upload regular videos. So. so uh, uh, there have been like times where I've, I've gone like two days without uploading and I really don't like to do that. At most, I want to only go like, if there's, I, I miss one day, okay, but I don't like having two days in a row where I don't have any videos, so. I'm sorry about that, um, I'll try to be more consistent now, I, I'm just, uh, I'm really excited, I, know, I, I think you guys are really gonna enjoy this next, uh, oh. oh, hello there flies, uh, this next episode of the Council of Voice is a lot more ambitious than the first one was, a lot more stuff. And I think you guys will get a kick out of it. Anyway. Oh, there's a murky yellow liquid inside the bo- Oh! Oh my god, guys. It's been- I've missed this yellow bucket full of unknown liquid for so long. Maybe we'll finally figure out what the fuck it is. Because remember, we never figured that out. That was sort of the many mysteries of this- of this game that was just like, we finished the game and it was like, wait, wait a minute, wait a fucking second. What in the hell then was the bucket full of yellow liquid? Because I, I kept expecting at some point that Yuka was going to go in there and pee or something, and that was going to be her potty. But nope, here it is. It's butt fucking back. Maybe this time we'll finally figure it out. There's a murky yellow liquid inside the bucket filling the hole with an absolutely noxious odor. This is really disgusting. Not that anything in here isn't, though. Oh, what? In a there were batteries in there? Wow, Ayumi. You were, you've got some balls, Ayumi. I, would, I don't give a shit. I'd be like a... <laughs> The way out of here is inside this. I don't care. Fuck that. It's all gross. And Ew! What happened? Heavenly host is falling apart more than ever before. So, there are numerous hazards to watch out for. From broken glass to splinters, something that will lower your HP. Depending on the hazards account, only the current selected party may get hurt, or the entire party take damage. HP can cover through use of bandages. Fuck! I. I wish that hurt me. I just thought it was a little blood stain. I was gonna go check it out. Damn. Does that, mean, does that mean I can like fall out a hole or something? Okay, I gotta say something is load time. Wow. The load times is or, from just pausing? What is this? What is that? It just looks like bits of broken wood. Why would that hurt me? Looks like I'm just walking on debris a little bit. Like, could I fall down here? No, I can't. Oh, thank God. This heals me, right? Yes. Okay, good. Well, at least there's that. <laughs> that stole the crap out of me. I was just like, all of a sudden, I like exploded. I'm like, what did I do? Wow, I am really, I am really fucking chugging. But oh, oh god. Oh man. Then when I turn the light on, it's like corpse party. Now I'm moving in a total of two frames per second. Holy mother of god. Uh oh. There's that hole again. Does I have to get a board to put across it or something? Great, great, great. Masudo? Guess again. <laughs> P 
<laughs> rain. It was a rainy evening after school, just like this one. Cree, cree, cree. Uh, something gonna happen? <laughs> I was like, huh? That has to be a person. Can I? There should be something I can use to cross this hole. Ah. There's something I can use. <laughs> wow, I'm actually going through the same. It's like, I feel like I'm playing the first one all over again. I'm, anyone else getting us some serious deja vu? The clock's pendulum seems to have stopped at an angle. This clock wasn't here last time, was it? Don't think so. Actually, I think about that. There was another door I could have gone out, so. Can I get on the other side of that then? Yeah, right here. Oh! Door's fixed to the wall like a model. It's just an indication that it was even meant to, ever meant to be open. This door is painted on the wall. Ah, damn it. Ah! These ghosts like fucking around! And Ayumi needs to work out more. Ayumi needs to work on her cardio. Now I wonder, will, will my stamina reset if I go to another room? God, please let it reset. Oh my god, the load times are fucking ridiculous. No, it doesn't reset! Oh god, oh man. Oh man, it's gonna be really brutal if I start getting chased by something. Stop making sounds. Uh oh. Let's just walk carefully. Oh, hello, dead person. Hope you're not uh, using this. It's on the floor here. Oh, bandage. Perfect. Hey, buddy. Ah, dead body! What? <laughs> Why am I acting surprised? He's been sitting there the whole time. For me, where the skeletal remains of human beings sprawled out unceremoniously on the ground. Help me, I'm still alive. Uh, this is definitely a heavenly host. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm surprised anymore. I mean, seriously, I've seen enough dead bodies to last me a lifetime. This person, I have no idea who he is, but somehow I feel like I've met him before. Oh my God, is that Moshiriga? <laughs> is this supposed to be one of my a name tag rest beside the corpse? Sukatani high, cla high Class 2C, Toshihisa Goto. I see, so now we're bringing back the stuff from the first game where you know, we get the name tags. I gotta say, I'm really glad that for this uh, sequel, they didn't follow the same, they didn't follow uh, uh, how Book of Shadows did it, where it was like a, more like a visual novel, and then went back to the roots and sort of, or doing, uh, doing it the way the first Corpse Party did it. Because I feel like they did that, that was a lot more Engaging, at least in my opinion. Decapitation by wire while searching for friend. Ooh, now that sounds familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> Although that happened in an alternate reality. That's from Book of Shadows. All right, uh, Sugitani or whatever, get the fuck out of my way. The tag is this worship service already been cataloged. That's all that really matters to me. Oh fuck that. Okay, so that's painful too. It's kind of it's hard to see. So the flashlight comes to Oh! Okay, so I can't fall down those holes. Oh! Fortunately, that just kind of slows me down a bit. I see, but if I'm getting chased by something, then it would really get in my way. God, the, the load times between just pausing and unpausing the game are really bad. <laughs> like, inexcusably bad. Okay, so there should be something I can use to get across. Can I use his lifeless body? No. Oh, what about this? Is this something? Uh, uh oh. Oh. <laughs> I was like, did I break it? It's a loose floorboard, still very much intact and solid, strong enough to support enough weight, blah, 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 blah. This will come in handy for the one way I have to go. I get across this. I know. I'll use these batteries. Or not. Why the hell did this thing move? I put this here last time I was here. Why did it move? It was those little shits. I bet it was that kid who had no, the kid, the kid who has no top half of his head. He says the tongue. He's like, ah. Oh. I should be able to cross now. Careful, careful. Uh oh. What's that? Oh. 
Oh. Oh. Oh, come on. Ayumi, you should have been able to see what that was from where you were standing. Just because I couldn't see it doesn't mean you shouldn't have been able to see it. What the dicks was that? <gasps> ah! <laughs> okay, that was kind of freaky, actually. <laughs> Look up, a big fucking head just like, hello there. You don't fuck this! <gasps> Shit! Ah! What? Mayu, what are you doing? You're not blowing up and you're not in little giblets. Susumoto! Mayu, what are you doing? Chick! <laughs> Moshirike, where are you? I'm everywhere! Ah, my giblets are everywhere! Ah. It's me, Yayumi. I've come here to find you. Oh! 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 Oh, no, you're not looking good at all. Ooh. Most of your giblets are back, but you still missed a few key ones. Chick! Eh! Eh! Must find my face! Chick! 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 Eh! Ah! Oh! Oh, no! No! Does light scare you? No! Light doesn't scare you! Ah, I could probably lose her for hiding here. Oh god dang it, don't be like Ioni, and then she like slowly opens the door and pokes her head in. You can hide in loggers to avoid harmful entities. However, if you were spotted by the enemy while trying to hide, it could be very easily pull you out. When an entity is near your hiding place, a red circle will be displayed to indicate danger. Ooh, oh man, now we got hiding tactics and shit in this game. Oh no, I don't like this at all! As it moves farther and farther away, the circle will turn green, eventually go away, completely if if and when the coast is clear. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Press the X button. Okay. Uh, I was like, <laughs> I'm like pressing X. So I'm like, okay, I think I'm good. Press X to exit your hiding place. But wait, if there are any enemies in sight, you'll be immediately chased by them. So make sure to exit time your exit well. Oh, well, that's good. At least, uh. Um. At least I can hide. I was afraid I was like, if I have to run from the whole time, I mean, I, these guys do not, cannot run for long before getting tired. Oh my god, does that mean, I bet Moshe Rige is gonna come out and be like, Ah, Nico, you've been making fun of me for two years, I'm pissed off, I'm gonna get you! And dude, I, there's no way I'm gonna be outrun him. He's fucking running Moshe Rige, for God's sake. So I'm gonna get away, I have to find, hurry, find Mitsudo too, though. So I'm gonna be finding all my friends, aren't I? All my friends are gonna be trying to murder me here. Again, I passed by this on the way. What's that? What is this? Like, I spell some. That's not encouraging. Can you do anything with it? Torch fixed the wall like a model. Again. Uh, is there something over here? No. I gotta say, the flashlight really isn't necessary, though. I mean, the game isn't that dark. There are countless strands of human hair stuff set. Of course there are. Although, I mean, the, the lighting effects are actually pretty, pretty nice. When you get, like, furniture and stuff, but God, it costs the game to lag like a motherfucker. There's no use hiding. You're always being watched. Always. I'm right behind you. Ah! Ah, fix the wall. I come out. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, avoid the hole and the blood and the really bad camera angle. <laughs> no, my! Oh, what the hell, my? You just gonna sit there and camp out where you died earlier? What do I do? That's not good. Eh. Oh god, I'm so tired. Hold on, let me just slowly take a break here. Hopefully, the pathfinding is. Nope, you're pretty good pathfinding. Oh shit. Okay, can you fall in a hole? Don't float over the hole, please. <laughs> oh, you're kind of adorable when you can't reach me. Oh, shit. 
Yes, I know. You're looking for she. Looking for Moshirige. Oh, fuck my balls. Ow. Oh, no. Then I step right into the fucking... No, that's not what I wanted to do. Ew, see, this is where she blew up. There's still massive bloodstains here. Ms. Miller's remains are no longer present. Yes, because they're busy chasing me. Oh. Get in the closet. Ah! 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 Oh, that's not fair. They don't hurt her. <laughs> I was going to hide in that thing. Oh, fucking dicks. Now what? Yuki? Yuki! Yuki, help me! Wait, who's Yuki? Oh, fuck. Damn it, Ayumi! I know you're bleeding and your shins are bleeding, but come on. Ah! My chin smashed against the floor and the wind was completely knocked down on me. My entire field vision turned white as if I had been drenched in some un unholy phosphorescent essence. <laughs> Is this one of the kids that was killed or something? Is that one of the, like, elementary school kids? Oh, sweet mother of God, what is that? <gasps> no! Then everything went black. Various indistinct forms blurred together in front of my eyes, and all of a sudden it filled as enough not my body, but my mind had been shattered to pieces. Probably because a big fucking axe went through it. Did I die? Oh! That was it? Are you serious? Wow! And you guys give me shit for fucking cliffhangers. What the hell? Oh my god. Really? Was that Yoshikazu coming out with a new... Was he wearing some... Did he have a new outfit? Oh my god, that guy was fucking terrifying. EVP entries for Yoshi Shinazaki been unlocked. New Encyclopedia Obscure Entries. Uh, okay. Yuki Kano. Good, I wonder who that is. Miki Kishinuma. Ever After Stones. Saiji Shinazaki. Hinoi Yoshiki. Blowback. Blow job. Close spaces. Tokiko Suji. Heavenly Host Elementary. Nirvana. Raising of corpses. Land of corpses. Corpses of corpses. Corpsey corpses. Corpse land. Roller coaster corpse. Spirit items. And monkey bars. Okay, let's let's refresh ourselves on uh, some of these characters because I don't remember them. Um, Encyclopedia Obscura. All right, what do we got? What you got? Oh, you there she is. Oh, it is. It's one of the girls. Oh, she was actually in color. Normally she's yeah, like blue like this. But she looked. She actually looked like she was a, uh, like a sentient being now. Is that? Was that just a design choice, or is she now like, uh, just a person here, wa 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 forever wandering? Cause Mayu looked kind of blue, right? Uh, one of the victims of Emily Host's infamous kidnapping murder case, the fifth grader at the time for death, killed when Sasuke really pulverized her left eye, which. We got to actually live ourselves through uh, Ayumi, which was really disturbing. Uh, helps Ayumi and the others rescue, release Sachiko uh, from the second fl from the school. Her eye was probably pulverized because that's one of the things the principal did to Sachiko's body many years prior. Uh, Kisaragi Academy, uh, built on the former Heavenly Hosts with stories of old elementary schools still being retold. Oh, I, I kind of forgot about that. Kisaragi was built on the on Heavenly Host. Miki Kishinuma, Yoshiki's younger sister. Due to Yoshiki's falling out with his parents, Miki visits him from time to time, keeping his apartment clean and teaching him basics of basic life skills. He's also responsible for the decor in his apartment, which is why his bed covers are pink. His food, his favorite, her favorite food is soft serve ice cream. Oh, thank you for letting me know that. Uh, the Ever After Stones, another method of ingress to egress from Nirvana. Originally fashioned by Makina Shinazaki in an effort to stop Yoshi Shinazaki's ill-advised use of magic. Instead, it's just going to continue the cycle of stupidity. Saiji Shinazaki, Sashiko's father. Unlike like other Shinazaki men, he was adopted into the family, but succumbed to their curse and died at a young age. Hanoe Shinazaki, Ayumi's sister and a me member of the... Oh, yeah, that's right. That's, she's the one that whose who's head, head exploded. I haven't seen you with your head on! It's not a while. Of the W.I. dies to save Yumi in the basement of the Shinazaki State. Masuto considers her a mentor, but their relationship may run deeper. Oh, okay. So maybe they, maybe they were a little bit giggity, huh? Blowback, an eye for an eye. Pr punishment befalling all who make a use of forbidden magic. Higher level spells produce more extreme blowback. So you know, how are we supposed to escape that? That's why I feel like she's not thinking through very well. 
uh, close close spaces? In a phenomenon created by an accident in Nirvana, those who are trapped in Heavenly Hosts occupy the same space, but are in different dimensions doomed never to meet. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's why, but we, but we would still somehow keep running into, uh, uh, Ayumi's candles. Ooh. Yeah, this, oh, this is the, this is the child that had his, the top of their head cut off, right? One of the victims from the murder, the Heavenly Host Infinite's case, murder case, was first grader at the time for death, killed when Sachiko lopped her head off at the jaw. Yeah, oh, so all you got there is her tongue just kind of sitting there like, oh, oh, oh. Nirvana, a place that lies between the real world and the ever after. It's said that the dead and the living can coexist here when a living person dies in Nirvana, his or her soul will relive the dead death on a loop for all eternity. So they said that it, this Nirvana took on the shape of Heavenly Host because that's where uh, Sachiko and her mother were killed. But it, I guess it didn't originally seem that way. It didn't look that way. Raising of corpses. The proper term for the spell of resurrection from the Book of Shadows. Supposedly able to bring back the dead, but can it really? And if so, and if so at what cost? Land of corpses. The proper term for the spell to create the Nirvana, it makes a relocation that defies reality, manifesting a dimension where the dead and the living can coexist. So, uh, Sachiko's mother created this so that, so, to sort of, well, she, I, I guess, I don't know if she intentionally meant to create this place, but she did it so that she could keep her husband alive, or so that she could be with her husband, right? Because she wasn't willing to let him die. That's interesting. I, I like we're getting at least some backstory about how, like, this stuff came to be. Spirit items, when someone dies, a person's will is sent to possess his or her face with favorite objects. Supposedly one who bears such an item can hear the voice of the departed from within it. On to chapter two. Respective desires. I'm guessing somehow we're gonna be getting everybody else into this place again too. It's not just gonna be Ayumi, at least I wouldn't think so. I mean, right? Well, what the spiritual power is this spirit X? Da -da. Hello there, I'm Generic Reporter B. Tonight's I do is this info comes from this residential home near Majiro Station. Can you hear me in the studio, Mr. Minea? On this map, we've marked the locations of each of, each of the recent bizarre deaths that occurred throughout this area. As you can see, the sudden deaths of a female middle schooler just the other day occurred not far from here, in the Majiro era. That's fairly near your location. Yes, the police are investigating all possibilities on both suicide and homicide. Spectrum. However, literally snapping a person's spine in two is seemingly impossible prospect. Well, let's guess this goes. That means we're all about to fucking die. Yes, it does, Jim. Yes, it does. And the mystery is compounded by the fact that outside of their broken backs, these victims suffered no other wounds whatsoever. Are you saying their spines may have somehow snapped on their own and supposed to be broken by someone? That's right. It's been theorized this may be some form of strange new disease that affects a person's bone structure and allows them to levitate into the air <laughs> while their bones are being broken. Well, it's quite a phenomenon, right? All this new happening in a home place like Majira, which remains quiet and friendly despite its play placement along the Yamano train route toward Ikubakuro and the Toshima War. What's that? Oh, what's that? That was the news sound, I guess. Sounds so dramatic. We give our regards to those affected by the tragedy and hope for the swift end to this macabre epidemic. TV's on, huh? Guess you saw him. I was about to head into her room and scold her for wasting electricity like that, but was sidetracked when I heard the fax machine call, accept a call, and began printing. Despite the- once the contents had been fully transmitted, I grabbed the printout from the machine and took a look at it. Product order sheet as expected. Huh. <sighs> PL Promotions Coing Inc. No room to write perfect life anymore, I guess. But when did she- she had the code to it. This company of hers- Oh, is this- wait, who's- oh, oh, Ico! Ico's the- 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 Maya look alike. It's up. This company of hers is quite the enterprise, it would seem. I was like trying to remember, like, wait, who is this? I'm at, now I'm in her point of view. All right. I sat down in the chair at my desk and produced the pouch containing the Ever After Stone, or rather, the pouch that was supposed to contain the, contain the Ever After Stone. Was she aware of it? Once I slipped it open, turned it upside down, however, a plain ordinary marble rolled out instead. My! Well played, Kishinuma. I fucking knew she wouldn't be surprised by it. This is, I bet this is her, like, plan all along. Wow, you like pink a lot, don't you? Not that it matters. I took the red box out of my bag and shuffled through the shattered pieces of rock inside, ultimately finding what I saw, a clump of white crumpled paper. 
carefully unfolded, I, pr I produced another two Ever After Stones, virtually identical to the ones now in Ayumi and Yoshiki's possession. What? There's another set? I found another pair, you see. <laughs> what? Oh, that's up. So that's how they're gonna solve this. Well, there was just another one. We just had another pair of stones. You could buy those in the dollar store, man. Buy it for three fifty. I slotted the stones together in their proper positions, sat back, and stared intently at them as they glowed menacingly from my desk. I was planning to go to Heavenly House with or without you, after all. <laughs> I guess we're even now. Oh my God, go! Just fucking go! I I want to see you die. I want to see you go there and come to the realization that it was a stupid fucking idea. Hmm. -hmm. My phone buzzed, alerting me that I just received an email. Sender displayed simply read, uh, asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. Subject, whereabouts known. Body of, body of message. Book of Shadows is in Nirvana. Obtain it, and you'll be handsomely rewarded. Uh, spirit item auctions powered by Futhark. 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 Spirit item auctions, huh? Wish I knew where, where this info was coming from. Either way, the Book of Shadows location has now been confirmed. The timing couldn't be better. It'll be a race, then, since I was just about to head to the Nirvana myself anyway. I remember me growing heavier as the stones popped the room full of unholy energies, waiting for the magic words to whisk me away. I grinned, and then separated them. Let's see if I can get the Book of Shadows before little Ayumi does. <laughs> I never truly intended to work with, with those two. I really just wanted to get closer, closer to them. For this task, the Obsessor and I will be more than sufficient. The Obsessor? We just need to act before that meddlesome girl finds out I have these. Clasp my hands together, planted my elbows on the desk, and shut my eyes. I rested my chin on my thumbs as I attempted to sort out my, my next move. A wry grin slowly crept across my face. Ah, oh, this isn't like me at all, is it? Consuming myself with one single objective for this long? Sorry, Yumi, but... You can't bring people back from the dead with black magic. It's just not that simple. Of course it isn't. But you always too stupid to realize that. It's gonna, it's gonna be like, it's gonna be like, Full Metal Alchemist or something. Where in order to do it, you gotta sacrifice somebody else, all right? Or have a philosopher's stone, or like thirty of them, and then you can just kind of bullsh bullshit your way through it. I rock back and forth in my chair and let out a si long sigh. It'd be quite a day. Articles of the deceased, though, are another matter entirely. I simply must bring back a spirit item and be with the soul of its owner. Vessel through which he or she can speak. Hee <laughs> hee! Wait, what the hell? <laughs> oh, oh, she's stretching. <laughs> that was a stretching sound? <laughs> we had to come up with something, I don't know. <laughs> I thought she was purring at me. I smiled again as I stretched my arms. Maybe I can pack my good friend Naho into a spirit item and make her a part of my collection. <laughs> this hobby might have turned me into a monster, but I just can't wait. I can't wait to do more evil things. Dude, I don't know. Dude, as long as Naho doesn't come back from the dead, I'll be fine. I tore my body to get a better view of a picture frame. I position it on the corner of my desk. Just about the creep that the cheapest photo frame money could buy. Totally not keeping it, keeping with anything else in my room, which is pink and pink and more pink. How's the very first photo sticker I had ever taken with Naho and Saeka? <laughs> <Go away! laughs> oh wow, even Naho's smiling in that picture. Look at all the fucking hearts. <laughs> Aiko or Aika look, looks like she's like, uh, what am I doing here? Two of them were smiling at each other while I was ugly sitting behind them looking a little sheepish. It was the first time only time we ever gotten our photo taken together. I guess the plant plants just a line just for the, us the right day. The, Wait, that's not me. That's some other girl. That's Maya, my arch nemesis, the good side of me. I took the frame in both hands and studied it intently. Then after, I don't even know how long, I noticed that the figures of it were getting kind of blurry. What, nothing more than to hear their voices again. I rubbed my eyes and realized that my biggest wish was just to talk with them just one more time. What, really? That seems like a, a change in her personality. Did she, from the way she was talking about her earlier, it seemed like she didn't give two shits about Naho or her friend here. And now I remember too where where I saw her friend uh, from. She was the she was the one in Book of Shadows who got a really long look at her butt cheeks from her leaping over the fence. And that, that's when I came up with the whole. Th I had a whole long spiel of the game developers talking about like, yes, this panty shot was the most important thing to happen in the game. 
Is it, is it bad that that's the only thing that I remember about her? <laughs> no. I don't know what came over me, but I started hugging the frame. No, no more words, no more movement. I just sat there with my friends. Wow, all right, that's... I wasn't expecting that from her. Uh, welcome back, I... When the star separated from itself from the photo and clumsily placed the frame back on my desk. So I guess she also wants to get her friends back? What do you want? Just Don't just let yourself in my room. Oh! It's sexy teacher babe. Uh, oh, it's been a while. I, I, had some, I had some time on my hands. So I decided to stop in. Have you been doing well? Oh. Or not so well, perhaps. Don't you worry. I've been doing... I've been doing just fine with... Fine, but you, you need to stop leaving the TV on. It'll attract spirits. Oh, my, I am very sorry. I get so lonely when I'm here by myself, so it turns it on and... So I turn it on for noise. <laughs> I stood up and tried to push push past her into the hallway. Are they roommates or something? So many mystery. I don't know what's going on. Would just let me through? I'm thirsty. Here. With a slightly embarrassed smile, Bob revealed a glass of barley tea that she'd been hiding behind her back. He always did have an act for knowing what people want, right when they want it. It's a little off-putting. Hmm, do I? I just figured you'd probably be thirsty, that's all. With a smirk, I took the glass from her and chugged the tea. Oh, and I roofied it. Ah, oh, fuck me. Glup! As I drank, I found myself even eyeing the, right, the white wristwatch on her arm. The, sof the softly glowing blue numbers, numerals on its display were surprisingly fetching. There was cl not, not, clearly not a cheap watch. Gulp! <sighs> I don't know how you do it. Working as a big wig CEO and a moonlighting as a school te high school teacher. It's pretty impressive stuff. Oh, okay. Big CEO, so that's how... That's how she managed to get Satoshi that big fancy lunch by helicopter. Also because she wants to fuck the shit out of him. Just like everybody else in this game. Me included. <laughs> no, no, it's nothing. I just like to keep people happy, that's all. Oh, oh, it's the same with her. She has no idea the kind of burden her, eff her effortless genius places on all the people around us. And on top of all that, my older sister here was... Oh, there we go. My older sister here was also astoundingly sensitive to spiritual energy as well. She certainly didn't leave a lot left for me to specialize in. Older sister, she looks absolutely nothing like you. Are you serious? Wow. <laughs> what, what made you guess it was the, the similarities there? It's the fact that she has black hair and she has white hair. What has purple eyes? has blue eyes? Seriously, they look nothing alike. Becoming CEO has actually made my day a lot easier. Giving me the opportunity to achieve that whole dream of becoming a teacher. I consider myself rather blessed. Guan clasped her hands together in front of her, almost as if in a prayer. She wasn't acting. She wasn't acting. She truly was happy. Well, that's good. Thank you for the tea. I'll be heading out now. A little too happy. I didn't need to feed the beast. With a dismissive gesture, I hurt her, her my glass and began packing my bag. Couldn't stick around here any longer. See ya, bitch. I? What are those stones? I'm sensing a very significant power from them. Uh-oh. What do you... What do you care? Leave me alone! Sister was better than me in practically everything. I wasn't about to let her horn in on this now, too. Oh. Ah. I tried to maintain a cold, tough exterior as I finished my gather my things. Inside, I honestly felt bad, but I couldn't let up. You stop wor stop worrying about me. I'll see you again, okay? In like half a year, probably. Good luck with your work. Okay. Th thanks. See ya. <laughs> hey, I I uh, I think I might be in love with someone. Oh my God! Seriously, she is. I knew it. See, I fucking told you. She's in love, Satoshi. She's by the end of this, they are gonna fuck so hard, hardcore. The last chapter of this game is just hentai, straight up. That there's gonna be a sex mini game, like God of War style. And they're not gonna pull anything back. Nothing censored. I'm just like, what the fuck am I playing right now? I know I shouldn't be recording this, but I just can't stop playing for some reason. Huh? Certainly wasn't expecting that. I spun on my heels and look. Quan straight in the eye. Her cheeks were rosy red. I've never seen her this way before. Really? That's good to hear. But it wasn't going to let her pull me in. Could it be cold and as, co as cold as I could muster her with her, speaking in short, broken sentences. Finally, without another word, I managed to escape. Q 
Quan and I lived on the 40th floor of a rather high-class apartment building. But Quan was always busy with her work at PL Promotions Co. Inc., so she spent most of her nights at company housing instead. That made this bar more or less a single for me. It was all mine. And now Quan was working a second job as a teacher, too. It's like there was no there was no talent she didn't possess. I called it impressive before, but honestly, it was kind of creepy. Who the fuck are you? Uh, fuck! <laughs> New guy! Uh, are you important? Should I give you something important? Niwa! <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. I'm giving the commando voice. Cause I'm gonna give him the. I'm gonna try him the commando voice, but maybe make it sound a little less crazy. We'll see how that goes. Niwa. How about you keep? Did, did I keep you waiting? Oh no, not at all. You're going through, right, Niwa? I'm. I'm ready. Let's do this. Saika, please be live. I'm coming for you. I've got water and food. Oh, are you really? He must be her brother, Sayaka's brother. He kind of—he kind of looks like her. That was friend, Say Sayaka. We stuff and cute so much, so much so that she actually did did some modeling. She was always right in our side, supporting her every in everything she did, including her spiritual investigations. And right at Sayaka's side, always constantly confessing his undying love and devotion, was her classmate Hiroki here. Oh. He's, he's got good and normal sensitivity, but, well, he's a bit overly optimistic. Notoriously so. Uh, okay, I think the commander could work then. You know, because he's always looking on the bright side of life. Sayaka never took this advances very seriously, so that's it's not, not that it ever stopped him. I see, okay. Okay, so not brothers, just someone who's obsessed with her. Wait for me, Sayaka! <laughs> yeah, this will work. Sayaka! Wait for me! Wait, actually, wait, no, wait, 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 maybe the hot career voice. Wait for me, Sayaka! I'm coming for you! It could work, too. It could work for a desperate sounding guy. I sing a light like that die out. It's, pain it's painful to watch. How are you, Ki? I haven't confirmed this for certain, but based on my intel, Naho is already dead. Which means Sayaka might also, you know, you should probably be prepared for the possibility. She's not dead! She's not dead, you hear me? I mean, uh, Sayanoki was with her, so Sayanoki died, then I'm certain she died shielding Sayaka from harm. Or maybe, ooh, what about the Ronda Light voice? I can always change it as time goes along, but let's just, okay, Ronda Light, we'll stick with that for a little bit, see how it goes. Sayanoki was with her, so Sayanoki died, then I'm certain she died shielding Sayaka from harm. And if she did, then we would have doubly sure we save her, so the Sayanoki won't have died in vain. And he just seems sort of like a weenie character, this is like a, a, a real tryhard, you know? Uh, I get a desire to believe that, but if not, Sayanoki of all people died in there, what possible chance do you think a normal human could have? Uh, who said that? It's uh oh, oh! It's Titties McGee. You've got no business over here, Ayakum Niwa. This expedition is pointless. Stand down. Makari Mizuki. How did she find out? Damn, she's fast. Damn, her boobs are huge. I I know you. You transferred in recently. I'll give you one thing, I, I, I go Niwa. You did well finding a viable means of getting into to the Nirvana. I have warned you countless times not to try getting the better of me, however. So what's it to be? How about you hand those stones over to me like a good little girl? What? <laughs> what? I don't know. I don't, he doesn't seem quite the weenie, does he? Okay, I'm going back to Kameda voice. I'm sorry. It's not, it just sometimes it takes me a while. I gotta get, I gotta sort of see how they act and. Sometimes I get right the first try, since it takes a couple of tries, but I'll go back with sort of the committee optimistic voice. Because he's not like freaky out like Rondo Light does all the time. Um I don't think so. I I have plans for my for my own for them. Well, I can't use you I you mean Shinozaki's anymore since that shit ass hoodie punk got the jump on them. So the ones you've got are you my only options now, aren't they? And we're through with failure. Hand them over, or I'll kill you. Simple, simple, no. She walks around outside with that outfit. Good lord. But guys pull up next to her, like, so uh, how much? 
I I'll show you how much this just kicks him right in the fucking face. Got the jump on them, so Yumi's already in heaven else then. Mizuki, you're Shut up, bro! Fucking kill you, you fucking peasants! Just just let yourselves be slaves to fate like everyone else. It's hell of a lot easier. What do you say? <laughs> Isn't it customary to address upperclassmen with some modicum of respect? May I remind you I'm a year ahead of you? And frankly, I've never much cared for you to begin with. <laughs> You're just making it easier to just by slicing you to ribbons. Keep on the fanning the flames, upperclassman Iko. It's your funeral. I'm gonna give her more of a bitchy, like really, really bitchy sounding voice. And it's our goodbye. And it's our goodbye. Hold on to me, Haruyuki. Yes, I will embrace you. Not that tight, Jesus. Is this, uh... You owe me! I gave you that info on you, Shizaki! Or is the money all the money you care about, you filthy gold digger? Don't you know? The Book of Shadows is over there. Once I get my hands in it, I'll be happy to sell it to you. For the right price. What the- Whoa, what the fucking giant demon scythe? I summon the dead! Nirana, I summon the dead! I'm pretty sure she cut through me before I finish that! Oh, I'm saying that! Uh, she's coming with me too, isn't she? Nope, she didn't. <laughs> Where in the abs- Where the fuck did you store that thing? And all the clothes you have. Success! What? A bonus to me, at least for another few moments, Magari had managed to snatch the two ever after so I threw my hands at the last possible moment. Now they were in her present. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? But I just used them to teleport! Oh, so now they're gonna be stuck there? <laughs> they're mine! I can't believe it! Now I can chip to the Nirvana anytime I'd like! <laughs> I think I've earned myself some free time! Time to go work my job as a stripper! Hmm, hard to believe I knew Shinazaki beat me to the punch, though. He will survive Nirvana again? Hmm. Maybe I should take this time to buy myself some real clothes. Alright, that little fungus made it back made it back too, didn't she? Perfect. I know just the person I could send to look in on her. <laughs> she says with that goofy look at Frozen on her face. Okay, well, now we're all officially fucked, because now she has no way of getting back. How in the dicks did she manage to get that for me? How did I transport, and then the stupid stone stuck around long enough for her to grab it? Oh, I know this part. I recognize this I recognize this area, too. This is where... I think this is where Yuka started out. And she got chased by a uh, sexy McStud muffin. Is this... Is this Heavenly Host? Ugh. Ow. She's, what is this? Where are the stones? Ooh! Oh, did she actually manage to hit her with that big thing? My palm had a perfectly straight cut across all the way. Practically bisecting my hand. It was bleeding quite a bit and hurt like hell. Ow! Oh, hey, there's uh, the other guy. We searched my pockets, but there was no trace of the ever after stones. They were gone. At least we didn't land too far away from each other. Niwa! Niwa! Hey! You're bleeding! I saw what happened. Just before we jumped, Mizuki managed to swipe the stones on her side. Uh, what? Uh, now she realizes how fuck she is. Without those stones, we can't go back. We'll be trapped here forever. You get that, dum dum? We will? Wow, that sucks. No way. Uh, well. But, no. We'll be fine. A girl named Nayumi should have other pair. We'll just meet up with her and before she leaves and we can tag along. Except she doesn't have it. Okay, but Niwa, before we... for that... Hmm? We should look for her. She's here, right, Saeka? Yes. Typical Haruyuki, the, thy love before thy own self. God, you're dumb. I'm gonna sacrifice you the moment I can. It's awfully dark here. Should I light one of my candles? What, you have candle lighting powers too? No need for that, Niwa. Fire is dangerous, so here. Oh no, light the light the candle so I can see. <laughs> Look at me, crazy face. 
Uruki pulled out a monstrously huge flashlight from his backpack and then showed up on, from under his chin, campfire style, tail style. Yes, I feel demon energy growing within me. He started making face, obviously hoping I'd be amused. I wasn't. <laughs> yeah, I think that'll work. Uh, whenever I did that Saeko, no matter how down she what dumb she was, she always cracked a smile. I get a, I get kicked black bl black and blue afterwards, but it was totally worth it. That's why I brought it. Never considered that a spiritual plane like this might be pitch black, though. Guess I thought I had without even knowing it. <laughs> yeah. If I were Sayaka, I'd be thrilled to have a childhood friend who was so utterly devoted to me. Wonder what it is that she doesn't like about him. I get the feeling you're gonna go crazy. If well, probably everybody's gonna go crazy. But you're gonna go real crazy, this guy. Hmm. Oh, nothing. Come on, let's go. I came here to find some physical remnant of Naho and track down the grimoire known as the Book of Shadows. However, Yuki came here to find Saikika, and in order to get back into our own world, we have no trust but to locate Ayumi Shiyazaki, because we have our work cut out for us. Oh, okay, good, we still got the candle. Traveling with a party of two, press R to swap out your lead character. Ooh, where it takes a lead, you'll be more susceptible, susceptible, susceptible to incurring damage from traps, so be sure to keep track of your party members and switch layers as necessary. Oh, that's kind of nice. What are we doing? She damaged it all from the cut she got? Nope. Whoa, look at me, whoa! Look how excited I am! What does that mean? I can, if I, let's see, if I get myself tired, let me just get myself tired here. Ugh. But then I switch her out with... Oh, but, oh, the stamina carries over even to the other character. Oh, that sucks. I thought I found a way to game it. I was like... So, oh, okay, well then I, one character stamina runs out, then I just use the other ones, and nope, that doesn't work. Okay, I bl I think this is the area where, I think, maybe not, but I, th I think this is the area where Yuka started off. And got chased by, uh, I can't remember his name. But, uh, uh, crazy sexy pants. That was pretty shocking, though. Just who is that Mizuki girl anyway? What do you know about her, Niwa? Can you keep a secret, Haruyuki? Magari Mizuki is a member of the Meritubas Tomb, a secret society based on an ancient order of black mages. A secret society? In Japan? Yeah, we had like a shit ton of them. It's fucking Japan, for God's sakes! Like the Freemasons of the Illuminati, except much more brazen. Unlike other, more renowned and respected secret societies, the Martubas are ready and willing to break the law. And ready to wield a giant scythe and kill people with it. Supposedly their entire the theos theosophy is defined by, stru by the and structured around the con content of ancient grimoires. Wow, hard to believe there could be a person like that intermingling with others, us in school. Then again, I always did think she was weird walking around with a tube top all the time. And her boobs are hanging out, and I was like, oh my god. Not that I took pictures of it and posted it on my desktop background. I mean, what we, What are we talking about? Shut up. Goes to show you, you just never know. There are all sorts of people out there. The Martubas are just the beginning. So there's the Martubas, and then the one that the... The Wiccans, or the WI, or whatever, that, uh... Uh, Mitsudo and uh, Hinoe were a part of uh, Yumi's sister. So like two different, two different sides or something. Like the Matubas isn't kind of evil, and the WIs are good. You probably have no idea who your neighbors really are, right? And they have no idea who you are. But Saeka knows everything about me. Everything, whether she likes or not. You're a special case. You show the world over 200% of who you are. Anyway, just be careful around Magari Mizuki. She won't treat you as a regular classmate anymore. She will shove her boobs in your face. That sounds fantastic. What in the hell are we waiting for? Such tiny shoes. This really was an elementary school. Shoes or cubbies are dotted here and there with long forgotten children's shoes, all covered in dust and debris. I gotta say, it's, it's interesting though, like, how they really did sort of the structure of the school is very similar to how it was in the first one. So if you play the first one, it makes it a little easier to get around, I guess. Heavenly has some entry notes to all facts. Like four students kidnapped and murdered. His crime has recently been committed with the walls of our within the walls of our institution. Faculty are expected to be questioned about this incident, but please use discretion when answering. Remember, you represent Heavenly Host. Mentor, you do not present us in negative light. Principal, crazy ass, I caused all this shit. 
Yanagori. <laughs> so these are tough to one side of the shooting cubbies. Hey! Exploration for the win, baby. Really takes a while for your stamina to get like fully recovered. Gotta say. Ooh, look at door. Ooh. Oh hey, is this a bathroom? Because I totally gotta go. I totally gotta take a whiz. Oh, actually, no, he's not he's gonna be like, actually, I don't have to go to the bathroom at all. Yeah, but for some reason I have to go to the bathroom. I better go do that. And then we're gonna get some panty shots and some shots of my vagina. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, it looks like it. I hate to ask you up, but would you mind if I stopped in this for a second? I've been looking for a while now. <laughs> I decided not to go to the bathroom before we went went to the crazy world. You have? All right, then. Go ahead. I'll wait here. Thanks. Be right out. Loo doo loo. I can't wait to pee. It's my favorite thing to do. But wait, there's a sparkly thing in the t in the sink. Is someone gonna yell at me? Be like, close the damn door. Can't believe Saeg is trapped in a creepy old place like this. What are the odds? Of oh, hey, dead guy. Gah! What's wrong? Niwa, is this? Yep, that's a dead guy. Is it real? Sure looks like it. Oh, ho, ho, and this? I'm feeling a lot of spiritual energy coming from that ring. You sure it's safe? Yes, yes, there's no need to worry. The ring itself is nothing cheap, special. It's a cheap, mass-produced piece of jewelry. But this particular ring bears the endless grudges of the one who owned it, making a truly spectacular spirit item. So even he can sense spirit energy? Damn. Everyone can sense spirit energy these days. One of the best I've ever encountered. Are you going to take it? Uh, duh. Of course, as soon as a spirit item like this is a rare find. I'm certain we'll find many others sitting here who died in utter despair. And when there's despair, there's Monokuma! And also, there's bound to be more artifacts of the caliber. If you come across any bodies, you should sure let me know, okay? <laughs> Alright, creepy friend of mine. Okay, don't forget, that's not why we're here. We're safe, Saeka. It's Aoki, got it? Attack rest beside the corpse. Iwakawa University High Class 1C, Fukio Abe. Abe or Abe. Bled, at, bled at after throat was stabbed. Ow. Bled after being stabbed in the ball several times. Oh my god, this is a bad way to go. Why the balls? Sorry to keep you waiting. I had to take a massive duty. And there was some really nasty ghost duty in there too. It was just like, oh my god. Yes, I could smell it from out here. Hold on, let's get going. But wait. Go back in. There's a big fucking sparkle in the sink. We failed to... Failed to notice. I need my sparkles. There it is. There's something in the sink. Ooh, a band-aid! Band-aid. See, the lighting is actually really good, but it does cause the game to lag a bit. Okay, so I could fall through that hole in the floor even if I'm walking. I just gotta kind of watch out for it all. What? <laughs> Open the door. Uh, close the door. Hey there. Your tag is for your soul's already been. It's already been found. The little drain is clogged with human hair. Of course it is. And there's swarms of dead bucks caught it. The odor emanating from here is rather overpowering. <laughs> All right, watch out for broken glass. Ooh, I see something. I see something nasty. What the hell is that? Ayumi. Ayumi Shizaki! Hello? Were you not seeing that? Saiga! Saiga, come out, please! I love you so much! I'm not sensing anything right in anyone right now. Not even a single soul, surprisingly. Have we seriously not noticed that thing over there? Because the only way to get here anymore. Any, any more is by the way of the stones, so there has been an influx of victims going through here like before. Which is a good thing, but it means we won't have anyone around to come to our aid if we need it. Just where are you, Sayaka? Are, are you all alone, scared, shivering in the dark, Sayaka? Sayaka, please. I love you, make babies with me. Good lord, you're horny. Even with weird 
goopy stuff. What's that? What's wrong? Oh! The walls! Look, what is it? <laughs> I was just focused on that little tiny bit in the corner. Oh my god! Oh my god, did I just step into amnesia? <laughs> Could it be the Nirvana breaking down? Whatever it is, it's really disturbing. Why is this the only place affected? Can I touch it? Mmm. Ooh, tastes good. Mm -hmm. That doesn't hurt me, at least. God, these can't look at this. Like, that's some great camera angle right there. Gaps too much. Why? It can be churched to something. It's, this is. I forgot about this game. This game is all about finding finding wooden planks to make a bridge from. That's the that's the extent of puzzles. Ow. Mmm, yummy. Oh my god, tastes like bacon bits, baby. Tastes like motherfucking bacon bits. There sounds of angry spirits emanating from within. It would be best not to go in there right now. Fuck that, I'm going in. Oh, damn it. Uh-oh. Small magic circles with pagan symbols are drawn on the stalls in red paint. The circular portions of the graffiti are all roughly palm size. What are these? I say with a happy look. I would touch those, Haruyuki. We're better off not messing with things we don't understand. All right. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? I just fucking said. Circles drawn on the far wall were much larger and more menacing. Mixing with them was a child-sized handprint. This building is a lot more nightmares inside than I'd imagine it'd be. I think guys are, these guys are sure taking all this in stride. <laughs> Everybody else in the first game was like, ah, ah, oh god, was oh god, was oh. These guys are really like, oh cool, more blood stains. Ah, ooh. Wonder where the book of shadows is. Could these symbols be related to it in some way? I don't care. Booga booga. There's some angry spirit. Ah, come on, I want to go talk to angry spirits. I want them to tell me things. Oh well. Okay, there's nothing over here. But I, I'll tell you what is over here. It's something that I. I need a plank. Find me a plank. Good lord, can I walk two steps without a fucking cutscene? Hey, bitch. You hate all your friends. Eventually, you'll kill one another. You'll slay them all in the name of me. A uh, piece of paper. What's this? Oh, such resplendent malice. So revengeful, so envious. Who wrote this clearly must have lost all measure of sanity. This flyer is a lovely spirit item all its own. I must have it. Niwa? I'm just waiting for the darkening to kick in for these guys. Curse flyer! Yay! You wretched, pitiable, wonderful. Oh, bitch, give me that piece of paper back! Oh, hello there. How are you? May I offer you some of my words? Bitch, give me my paper! It's me, Slender. You took my note. I made my... Hey! I finally made an appearance in this game. Isn't that awesome? Anyway, give me my note. Someone finally got one of my notes. Oh, God. I'm so happy. Although, after all this time, my white face kind of deteriorated, and now I'm just kind of black and oozy looking. I'm still scary, right? I'm still scary, aren't I? This commander sounded like, yeah, you, you, I don't know. You're all right. I think you're scary with the white face. See? Damn it. So I was telling... I was telling Bonnie that the other day, and... Uh, Oh, uh, well, this will have to do. Yeah, I got smoking stuff around me. That's pretty cool, too. Uh, anyway, uh, anyway I, I was saying, uh, blah, 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 blah. I've seen the spirit and possession of the spirit item. Didn't much care for my joy at its suffering. A black shadowy figure emerged from the paper and poised itself to attack us. Oh, no, you don't? Hmm. It's no problem at all. I quickly slid a talisman out from my plastic car and slapped it on the forehead for the lunging black spirit. Ha! You think you're... You think your stupid talisman can do anything to me? I'm... Ah! No, I made an appearance in this game for the first time ever! You can't! I ain't gonna run away! Oh. Sound not like that of a ricocheting steel echo through the hallway as the dark prince found himself forcibly banished to the cursed flyer. Damn it! Never gonna show up in this game for longer than five seconds. Well, that was easy. Whoa. Damn. Bitch got moves. Yes! <laughs> That's right! Never leave home without a talisman, kids! We're not the hunted in here. Where? The hunters! Hee <laughs> hee! Still branching the car card case, I struck an anime style pose and grinned triumphantly towards the camera. 
that didn't exist. You know, Psyduck used to do the exact same victory pose. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, um, how embarrassing, but we, uh, we have to hurry and find something of an in here. Spirit item. You're not playing to harm Nao like that, too, are you? Well, that all depends on her now, doesn't it? Hee <laughs> hee. Ah, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna fuck her up. Actuality, I was furious over the loss of, over the loss of Nao. Oh, I just wasn't like, letting it show. I wanted to obliterate all the low-level spirits that filled this place with malice. I wanted revenge. This is personal. It took everything I had to quell those instincts. I was gonna slay them all. Then Heavenly Host malicious entities may chase you down and attack you. If you don't, if they touch you, your HP will lower and your darkening will increase. Oh, there it is again. Fucking darkening. If you're in possession of a talisman, however, the entity will be banished. But do note that each spirit subdued will cost you one talisman, so keep a close eye on your stock. I got a talisman. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, this is totally it. I was right. And this staircase, this looks absolutely like this is where. This is. This is where uh, Yuka got chased by. Uh, what's his face? Integrate rest beside the corpse. Subutai Junior High, Class 3C, Ogasato Shimase. Strangulation by a friend gone mad. Aha, sucks to be you, bitch. I see you spiked things. Ah, uh, nothing like some oogly boogly stuff. Ooh. Okay, I've re Larry, I've reached the top. Oh, an anti rush side. That's a corpse. Karu Karaku Yanagai High, Class 3-2. Yuren Akiyama. Suffered decapitation following amputation of his limbs. Oh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, another bread person. What the? Ah, ah my pants! Niwa, look out! Huh? It's a wire. Oh shit! They're bringing that stuff back. That was, that was from. They didn't have that in the first game, I don't think, did they? But it, that was in Book of Shadows. That fucked us up hard. How the hell did you see that? Oh. What the? If you walked in piano wire, strung this taut, it could easily slice you in two. This is a booby trap laid by one of the victims who came to this school, perhaps. And are we not going to remark on the guy standing in front of us? No, it couldn't be. I was sensing a deep spiritual energy, energy emanating from within it. So it was sent by that ghost then? I believe so. Or maybe the space itself created it. Wherever the case, we should get ourselves under attack in here and proceed with caution. Please agree. Thank you, Ariyoki. Touching our wire trap will trip it. Will trip it, significantly lowering your lead character's HP. You can break the wire without tripping it, however, by staying in front of it and pressing X. So we'll cut and permanently move from pl play. I see, good. Tripwire. Da. I clip it with my fingers. Suck it, ghost, bitch. Yeah, you want some of this? Bring it on, slut. You need to hurry up and die like the others so that I may feast on your head. Shut up, bitch. I'm the one in charge here. And the kicks, she kicks him right in the balls. Oh, what the? Uh. How'd you do that? I'm a ghost. You should be dead. Uh, fuck, I don't care anymore. Nagawa, University High School Class 1C. Kasuhisa, lead Ida. Succumb to shock. Just succumb to shock. Okay, this might be where I want to really keep the flashlight going. See you. Flip. Wire has been safely removed. And all is, all is well. I have saved the world. Yeah, there's a lot of goopy stuff everywhere. There's a door right there. It's dead end, we should go back. Hold on a sec, Niwa. Could, could we use that, that plank for something? Ah. Oh. Just all of a sudden turned darker for some reason? It's gone under the desk, so I don't think I could get it out myself. Would you do the honors, Haruyuki? Sure, would, would you mind staying back? Let's switch places, and I'll get it. Okay. Somehow or another, Haruyuki is able to free the loose plank from a void beneath the mountain of deaths. And now I've got another thing to walk across. Yay, because that's the bet, what we're best at in this game. There was a door right there. Why were we saying it was a dead end? I could even go in it. 
Oh, it's a lavatory. A large chunk of faucet has been broken off and shattered. Its pieces are strewn haphazardly in the sink ba basin. Oh, there's a body here. Uh, Yuga Takahashi. Burned to death after being set on fire. <laughs> what? <laughs> How else are they going to be burned to death? Burned to death by being set on water. That's really search, search for water till the end. Ooh. Ooh, I see people on these third doors. All right, let's open each one of these doors and hope back. Whoa! Name tag pressed beside the corpse. All right, so come to shock and bled out after taking knife to the to the chest. All right, bye. Thankfully, the stall with the creepy pagan symbol on the door is either locked or broken, so it refused to open. All right, same here. Same here. Same here. And same here. But fortunately, we got this. Sign the floor here. Batteries! More batteries. Because I'm really using my flashlight that often. I gotta say, the flashlight seems kind of useless so far. Even the wires I can see in the dark pretty easily. Alright, guys. Well, I already know where I'm uh, supposed to stick the plank. I scattered down the hall. But I think it's time I end it here for now. Anyway, like for if you enjoyed. Subscribe now. Become a biggie, biggie one aboard the SLP. The days are always sunny, and the fits always funny. Until next time, guys. Stay classy.